Are you someone who constantly finds reasons not to pursue your goals or your dreams or your your vision? Do you ever catch yourself saying things like, I don't have time or I'll start tomorrow or I'll start sometime in the future only to find that tomorrow never comes and that time in the future just never, never seems to come. If this sounds familiar, then this episode is for you. In today's episode, we'll explore the emotional drivers behind our behavior and how understanding these drivers can help us overcome the habit of making excuses. I also give you four remedies to those drivers so that you can start to be on your way to achieving your goals and stop making excuses. Before I dive into the psychology of excuses, please smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the tips I release each week. I'm gonna dive into this by asking some important questions. Why do we make excuses in the first place? What emotions are driving our behavior? How can we recognize and overcome these emotional drivers? Excuses often stem from an underlying fear. Whether it's fear of failure, fear of judgment, or fear of change, these fears can hold us back from taking action, pursuing our dreams, and showing up to serve others with our gifting. But once we understand the emotions behind our excuses, we can take control of our lives and push past the barriers that are keeping us from achieving our goals. Now let's discuss four common emotional drivers behind excuses. Driver number one is the fear of failure. The fear of failure can be paralyzing, leading us to create excuses to avoid the risk of disappointment. Instead of taking a chance and potentially failing, we create a narrative that allows us to stay in our comfort zone. Driver number two is fear of judgment. When we worry about what others might think or say, we can become hesitant to take action. This fear of judgment can lead to a variety of excuses, all aimed at avoiding the perceived negative opinions of others. Driver number three, the fear of change. Change can be intimidating. It's human nature to crave stability and predictability. As a result, we may make excuses to maintain the status quo and to avoid the unknown. And driver number four is low self-esteem. When we don't believe in ourselves, it's easy to create excuses to justify our inaction. We might tell ourselves that we're not good enough or we don't deserve success, which can be a significant obstacle to personal development. So how can we overcome these emotional drivers and put an end to the cycle of making excuses? Here are four solutions or remedies to the four common emotional drivers behind excuses. Remedy number one is recognize your fears. Take a step back, analyze your thought process. Are you making excuses because you're afraid of failure, judgment, or change? Acknowledging your fears is the first step towards conquering them. Number two is develop self-awareness. Understand your emotions and thought patterns. Practice mindfulness and self-reflection to gain a better understanding of your emotional drivers and how they impact your behavior. Remedy number three, challenge your excuses. When you catch yourself making an excuse, ask yourself if it's truly valid. Is there an alternative action that you could take instead? Are you focusing on a negative instead of the potential positive outcome? Remedy number four, foster self-confidence. Develop a belief in your abilities and your worth. Surround yourself with positive influences, set realistic goals, get yourself into action, and celebrate your achievements. And there you have it, the psychology of excuses and how understanding the emotional drivers behind our behavior can help us break free from the cycle of making excuses. Remember that self-awareness is key. And by challenging our fears and building self-confidence, we can take control of our lives and elevate to greatness. If you're ready to take your personal development journey to the next level, click on the link in the description to explore coaching opportunities with me. Together, we can work on overcoming the emotional drivers behind your behavior and help you achieve your goals. In the comments below, tell me if you found this episode helpful or have any additional insights on the topic. I really would like to hear from you and I want you to know that your input may help others too. And please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Thank you for tuning in. This is Coach Brian.